Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we did a ton of stars at Beach Bowl Galaxy, and then tackled uh, Bubble Bee's Galaxy, and got all the coins there in exactly 1.30. I know that, because I recorded it three minutes ago. Anyway, today, we're going to head back to Beach Bowl Galaxy because there's a prankster comet there, a fast folk comet, the first one we're seeing of these, I believe. And the fast forward comment here is fast forwards on the cyclone stone. So, as I said before, there are some tactics you can use to go faster in this level, such as long jumping at the start here to get to this one up mushroom. I'm pretty sure that one was pretty much laid out for you and intentional, but you can also wait here, which isn't exactly the safest place to wait. Really? Really? He can crush me there? What the hell? I didn't expect him to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, I suppose in Prankster Comets, I can point this out now. You don't have, uh, checkpoints in Prankster Comets. If you die, you go back back to the beginning, which isn't really usually of this since the beginning is like short anyway Hi, why can he crush me there that's so weird but yeah you can wait just here which is difficult when the enemy's going fast and long jump and miss the jump completely this isn't going well i saw i'm sorry i saw so sorry i was about to say that too i don't know why i would like cut to the point where we were but we were like at the beginning of the level anyway so i don't think it's necessary uh, i'm gonna jump now and spin okay we are not going for that anymore. you can spin to the sliding rectangular block we are not going for it anymore because it's not working luckily we are never gonna get a game over because I can consistently at least make the long jump behind me to this one up though watch me miss that too we are not going for that again but it is possible a bit more difficult when things are going fast and I'm not used to the timing but I did it plenty of times when we were just doing the normal level because I kept dying there as well. This is just a, not a level that's giving me a good time on the Let's Plays. Or the, 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 when I'm recording, rather. But, you know, loopy loop and rolling whatever gizmo. No, that's a... What was it? Rolling green. There we go. They're, they're fine. They're absolutely whatever. It's no problem. This one, though? Ah, no. You're gonna die, like, four times in total on the same level that you've, like, never died on before. Cool. Great. Awesome. Sonic Colors announcer when you do tricks. Good. Great. Ow. I can't even do that. The game won't even let me quote its competitor. I mean, that, make, that makes sense. I don't know. Just grab our star. Don't long jump past it. Yeah, that did not go well. But, at least we got that done, and we never have to go back to Beach Bowl for a while. Never have to go back for a while. Let's head to Boy Base Galaxy. Boy Base, I don't, I don't know. And, one of the stars here is the Floating Fortress. So one, this is one of my favorite levels in all of Super Mario Galaxy. I love that it has a little underwater portion, and then it's just pure platforming after that, which we'll get to. And two, I love the music here. This is my favorite song. I know I said Battle Rock is... This is one of my favorite songs in all of Mario Galaxy. You know, right up there with Battle Rock, um... And Space Junk and stuff we'll get to later. This is, in, this is definitely my top five. This is probably number two. It's either two or one. I used it for the channel trailer. So, you know, I really, really love this song. But anyway, you want to guide a bonsai bill there into the iron weights under the level. And this is the only level boopers appearing, by the way, so don't expect to see them much. Uh, you need to guide it into the iron weight to raise the floating fortress up. And as soon as you touch this platform, uh, some launch, or some sling stars, rather, will appear around the, uh, the island that will launch you back to basically this point so you can easily get on the... Uh, the Floating Fortress actual platform while you're here. Anyway, I'm gonna give you some time to listen to music because I absolutely love it. Here you go. This is Boy Base Galaxy. I 
just love this song so much. Uh, who left those water shooters on? How would you give that? Uh, how about you give that valve over there a twist and turn them off? Sure. I mean, let's just let's just erase Mario Sunshine from Ken and. I mean, that's nothing really mad. I actually, you know what? Erasing Mario Sunshine from Ken would be a pretty big deal, because then Bowser Jr. wasn't wouldn't exist. And you know what? I'd be pretty damn happy with that. I don't like the bastard anyway. The only coupling I like is Roy, because of all the Smash memes that came from it. Not uh, memes, and eh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm questioning if it's a meme or not. I mean, it's it's whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not gonna discuss memes on this channel. They're a sin to all of humanity. Anyway, let's jump to this one up over here. Uh, but yeah, the point of this level, at, when you get to the Flowing Fortress, is, uh... When you get to this bit of it, at least, is to platform your way up, which I love. There's not that many levels. Well, there's, there's enough levels in the galaxy that are just pure platforming, I suppose, to, for me to love it as much as I do. But I wish there were more levels in Galaxy that were just pure platforming. Because those are some of my favorite levels, but... Anyway, we had to climb up and get all the pieces of these pole star things and I th this um, planet is interesting because it has a reference to it that I'm not sure was intentional I kind of feel like it was and even though I'm not a huge fan of this series this planet looks a lot like a pokeball the red top the kind of black bottom although it's I think is it black in the Pokemon games it's either black or blue I can't remember anyway when you spin this the top of the pokeball or the planet rather opens up and there's our star now we have to swim more. But yeah, I just love boy base. I love the water section. I love guiding the bonsai bill. And I love that it's just platforming up the tower. It's so fun. One of my favorite levels in all the game. And luckily, we aren't done here yet. We have a super secret star indicated by the green there. Oh, so spook spooky. Strange. That's default to spooky at this point. You can skip intros of levels as soon as you enter them the first time. Uh if you go back into that level, but every new level you go to, every new mission in a world, you cannot skip that intro. Anyway, uh, this this is this star I actually got the first time I did boy base. Boy base. I I can never understand the pronunciation for it. Um, this is the first I ever got in boy base when I first played the game, and I feel like it's a, a lot of people because I'm attracting more of the pipe than I am the iron weight. Uh, but yeah, we need to guide the bonds I built into the case containing the pipe, which will suck us up and take us to a very very small level or a small portion of the level, where we have to guide these bullet bills into that cage back there with something strangely colored shining in it. I think this says coins, if I remember correctly, yeah. So that's not helpful to us, I'm not gonna bother. And uh, this level can be really easy or really annoying, depending on... I I don't know. Just the, the bonds that... the bullet bills, sorry, are wanting to react properly and not blow each other up or blow other things up, like this enemy or the amps around it, or at least blow up on the amps, because we'll just blow them up. As far as I know, I don't think you can kill the amps. But anyway, we have a green star, which is definitely unique compared to the yellow power stars that we've been collecting. Well, obviously, in color. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumens about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. So, are all the power stars like this? Or even the ones in Mario 64? Were they, um, lumens? That, like, we were collecting? Why? <laughs> did, did, how long did we know about the Comet Observatory in Rosalina? I, I don't know. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the Triad Galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So, to go to the Triad Galaxy, if we go into first person here, we can see a little galaxy up there with a pipe coming in and out of the draw distance. That's fun. Uh, yeah, we can see that up there. Maybe there's the Triad Galaxies. It is fairly close to the green launch star after all, but... Hey, maybe we'll see. We, we will see. I promise. Mainly because... Look at the title of the video. 100% walkthrough. Which... I don't know, maybe, maybe someone watching this in the distant future, it's not titled that anymore. But at the moment, that's what it's titled. You could probably expect... Ah, god damn it, I can't get up to the kitchen. You could probably expect a 100% walkthrough, meaning all the levels. Jesus Christ, okay. Now I'm back up to the kitchen, I could stop lingering on one topic. And head back into the galaxies. And I suppose we'll just head into the next big galaxy to do. Which is... Ghostly Galaxy. Yeah. 
we have Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. Wonder what that's a reference to. Probably a GameCube game. Let's go. So the first thing to praise about this level, once we can go into first person, is the scenery. It's basically a bunch of ghosts moving upwards into one point and creating just giant shining ball. And it looks so incredible and interesting. I love it so much. It's not scary, I guess. Eh, depends on the definition of scary. Anyway, if we break the stock over here, we can get a rainbow star and destroy all these, I believe they're called Jacko Goombas? Uh, so jack-o'-lanterns with goombas in them as we can see here. Oh, original names coming from Nintendo. Yeah, Miyamoto. Good job, Miyamoto. And wow, well, we jumped on him even though we had invincibility. That's, that's, that's the ultimate disrespect right there. Anyway, we can run through and destroy that uh, chain chomp. And we could have kept that to make our lives a little bit easier. Because now we have booze. And you can kill booze with the invincibility because you can pretty much kill everything. But... We need to get both boos down here. We need to go activate the boo from up there in the first place. And there's a switch down here. Down here. Can we hit the switch? That will turn on a light. And with the boo standing under it, because I planned that completely. Sure, I did. Uh, one will release a key. The one released from the portrait here. One that came out from the portrait. I don't know if it least somebody came out from it. And now we just have to collect five, I believe five uh, launch star pieces around here. Yep, indeed we do. In this little box room with mini black holes. I don't know how the black holes aren't just sucking everything up because they're, you know, they're black holes. You'd think they would do that. And Mario just didn't run off into the pit there. I appreciate that he has some common sense to not just run into a black hole. I wouldn't do it. Mainly because I couldn't get there. But, you know, I'm not part of NASA. I'm not, like, I can't fly and I can't even breathe in space. No one can breathe in space because, you know, it's space. It's kind of point. Anyway, we've got all five launch star pieces, but what if we ground pound this weak-looking ground ceiling wall there I don't know gravity's strange well we come to this room this library room with a switch in it that will create a ton of coins in time so you can just spin here and get all the coins and yeah I mean you can get a one-up I guess the coins don't do anything else do you even get a one-up you do you get exactly enough for a one-up so I didn't lie I th thankfully thank you Super Mario Galaxy for not making me a liar I appreciate that. It's the one thing you've ever done for me. Even though, you know, give me hours of fun. But who cares about that when I'm a liar? You know? So at least I'm not that. You can't have fun if you're a liar. Take that as a lesson, kids. Don't lie. You'll never have fun in your life again. Anyway. He wants us to help. Am I helping? <laughs> I didn't. I've never done that before. Um, mainly because I never sidled. On the wall for fun fact, I never heard the word Siddled before The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I thought, I think a lot of people thought that was a typo when they first saw it. Because it's just, the Siddle? Is that a, that's a word? Really? I don't know. Anyway, new power up here. The Boo Mushroom. Which turns us into Boo Mario. We can shake that to vanish and also tap A to rise. And if we fly up here, we can release the one up from its portrait hell, I suppose. And collect it. We can't collect it as a ghost, can we? We can. Damn it. Okay, yeah, hitting light takes away your ghostiness. So, don't do that. And as I said, we can shake to vanish, which lets us go through grates such as that. I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know if boos are always invisible. I don't know. Anyway, fun thing about boos, when you're Boo Mario, they love you. I don't know if all boos are just... Wow, they hit you? I, I don't know. I've never gotten hit by that. So, either all boos are confirmed female who are way too into boo men or they're all gay males which is nothing wrong with that but I find it strange that every single one of them is I don't know how they reproduce if they're females then it makes sense how they reproduce if every single one of them are into boo Mario but if they're all gay males how do they make more I don't know whatever it doesn't it's not a big deal bro you finally came I got lost of the toads it was terrible but I found a power star, so that makes up for it, right? Yeah, sure it does. Sure it does. Luigi. Just 
to make a crusade and could have stopped the power server, why not I find it eventually? Jesus. But he will show up in the get started screen, so that's cool at least. Welcome back. I can see your brother from here. If you ask him, I bet I'll help you search for power stars. And I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go speak to him over there by the garage. Yeah, why don't we do that? I mean, we spoke to the toads or turds. Is that what I said? Jeez. Toads earlier. Eh, yeah, same thing, right? He's still sleeping. Yeah. And, uh... Hi. I'm sorry, <laughs> it just looked like it went around his nose, and I found that really funny. <laughs> uh, bro, you're looking for power stars, right? Let me help. I think you might have missed one in the Good Egg Galaxy. If I can find it, I'll write you a letter. Keep your eyes peeled for it. Yeah, he'll write you a letter. He'll search for stars and galaxies um, that you've been to previously, and that'll be a thing um, that happens. I'm not going to be talking to those for a while, because they're... I don't know, I just don't want to. I don't like Luigi. I love Luigi, actually. He's really funny as a character. Just how Nintendo treats him. Mainly the Mario and Luigi games, and to a degree the Paper Mario. Well, not, mm, I, I guess it's Super Paper Mario, but not really a thousand your door. He's a funny character, let me just say that much. But yeah, we won't be tackling those for quite a while, the secret Luigi missions. So uh, he'll just be either sitting in the garage or lost in a level. So. Lost Doubles, there you go, that's the origin of that, that name. But anyway, heading back to Ghosty Galaxy, we have our second star, a very spooky sprint. What are you now? If you cannot handle massive amounts of spook, such as flying meat and skulls, uh, don't worry about it. It's not actually that spooky, and you're, you should probably have a higher spook tolerance level. Or, yeah, higher. I get words confused a lot. Anyway, we. Ah, <laughs> Ow. We have a rainbow star in here again, so that's fun. Let's kill everything. Oh, yeah, let's kill everything because we won't really have anything else to kill. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. That was a quick realization of both things. But I'm glad it was quick. I mean, at least I didn't have to, like, stress out over. Thinking I was gonna die for very long. I want to kill this boo. That's not a boo. That's a bat. But I wanted to kill it anyway. It didn't matter what it was. I just want everything to die. Anyway, we gotta use our pearl stars here to get ourselves over to this launch star, and not actually head into the mansion. It almost hit our head on the mansion. Actually, that would have hurt quite a bit at this velocity. But anyway, we have reached the spook zone, and uh, let's actually explore the spook zone lip a little bit because a lit. Uh, because there are star bits that I want to collect, and secrets and stuff, and it's fun. This planet's cool, because it's not actually that cool. I was going to make up reasons, but it's not actually that interesting. There was a toad here, wasn't there? I thought there was a toad. I, there he is, yeah. Okay, we're just on the wrong side. Hey. Yikes, this looks scary. I mean, hold on. Yeah, so scary. It's a flying meat. It's a ghost! Yeah, it sure is. I haven't seen plenty of those in my life. So you have to eat it too. You want why well, uh there. Yeah. You race me for it, yes. Oh, he's like GR Stellar putting down his visor. What was it called? Was it called the visualizer in Mega Man Star Force? I haven't played Star Force in a long a long time, so I can't remember. I like that game though. Star Force 3 was great. Star Force 1 is okay. I never played 2. Uh because I actually I actually hear bad things about 2. Uh like I heard the counter rate for live uh, enemies was too high. But I feel like that's an issue with like the entire like, every Battle Network game and every Star Force game. Apparently, it's even worse than Star Force 2, though, so... I don't know. I've only played Star Force, um... Well, 1 and 2, obviously, I said. But, uh... Battle Networks... I've only beaten 3, 5, and 6. And can I get around this meat? Why is this an issue I have every day? Ah, uh, we're gonna pull ourselves into this Slink Star to get a massive shortcut. But you basically need... I don't know if you need to take it to win, but you probably still want to take it, whether you need it or not, because it's just... Helpful. I mean, he's not going to consider you a cheater like Koopa the Quick or anything. This is kind of your Koopa the Quick for the game as well, because you don't have other... Well, you have the Cosmic Races, but those aren't... That doesn't have a character behind it. Shit. 
Shit. No! Why did I... No. Oh my god, I lost to basically Koopa the Quick. I, I, to, no, no, to this credit, it's harder to Koopa the Quick because you get the mines and the momentum of the pole stars. If you get too giddy and too momentum happy, I suppose, you know, that can be a bit difficult, but, uh, yeah, we lost. Uh, yeah, bad luck next time. They kill you when you lose a race in this game. They are merciless. Alright, so we're back here, and we're not gonna lose this time, because I'm not gonna get too momentum happy with the pole stars. I've done that so much in this playthrough, and that was the only time it, like, actually really hurt me, I believe. I know, like, I had to... Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna get too momentum happy, and I was gonna lose again. Uh, let's just, let's just win the race. 56, what was that, 43? If you can beat that time, go for it. But I promise to take this power star. Yep, you get a power star for beating him. What is why right, the spin to make it appear? Can I just do that? I mean, I could. Well, I mean, he spun like three or four times consecutively, so I can't do that. So I guess I can't make power stars at will. Sorry, Rosalina. Should have made a better Luma. Use this piece of crap. He's actually awesome. You have a letter from Luigi. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows who I am. Help me. Yes, he gave us a letter. Uh, as I said, we're not going to tackle these quite yet. Usually, I would tackle stars as soon as they appear, but um, in this case, no. We're not. Mainly because I want to make Luigi suffer. So You will be taken back to the Com Observatory whenever you get pictures from him, but... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with Luigi at the moment. Mainly because we have a secret star in a very spooky sprint. So at the starting point, you simply want to jump up to the shining rock, break it, and a launch star will appear. And that takes you to actually one of my favorite levels, which uh, again, because it's sort of platform, you kind of have to wait a little bit, but that's fine. It's fun platforming. It's long jump over here. See, you can also burn your butt on those candles there. Actually, just long jump from here, but to get over this wall and just skip the key in general. That I can't get over there. Oh wait. I had to wait for this, that's why. I was wondering, like, I thought the other platform went over there, but nope. It's this one. It's simply star bits and nothing special, but... I mean, if you want to get some star bits... There you go. This boo isn't really doing anything. Boo is as in other games, as in every other Mario game, that is. So I can think of a single Mario game that's actually an exception. Except maybe the RPGs, I guess, but like... Even in the overworld, they do this, in the Mario RPGs. If you look at them, they get shy and they won't move. It's the point I'm trying to make. Not point, but thing I'm trying to point out. I guess it's still a point, it's not... A point I'm making, it's just something I'm pointing out. I know, we're getting into semantics here, I suppose. But yeah, you want to look at them whenever you're hitting a block or whatever, because then they won't move towards you. Or you can just shake and move them out of the way, pretty much. But yeah, they will hurt you and laugh whenever they do, because they're little bastards, and they love seeing you in pain. Not, very, not the nicest people. Well, but they're dead, to be fair. They've literally experienced the hor horrors of death, so I can't... Wouldn't they want... Not, wouldn't they now want... A ghost? Or... One, wouldn't they not want other people to experience the horrors of death, like they're giving to people, because they're awful, awful things. Two, are Boo's dead somethings in the market? Because I don't know, like, Dry Bones are dead Koopas. That's basically, well, it's definitely true, because they look exactly like Koopas and they're skeletons. So they are, they are dead Koopas. But are, what are Boo's dead versions of? Are they dead versions of, like, of Goombas or something? That needs to, me and I don't need to talk about that. Who cares if the Kooplings are Bowser's children or not? Talk about what the hell booze were before death. Anyway, we need to collect this key here. We need to collect keys as we climb up. I might as well collect these coins while I add it. It's for a high score of 8 and collect our power star. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. We rescued Luigi. We did levels in Ghost of Galaxy, we we raced a spookster and lost to him once, and yeah, that's about it. We also got a letter from Luigi, which we actually will tackle next time. When I say we're not tackling for a while, I mean for one episode, so when I say a while, I'll know that it means I'm like 10 minutes. Don't actually 
take that as fact because it probably will be 10 minutes a lot of time. Anyway, see you guys next time.